Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a full set and it is an Alice in Wonderland theme set but a punk Alice in Wonderland. It's so funky. So I've already gone in, done my prep work, done my cuticle work, applied my tips, filed them, um, done a rough shape of them and applied my CGP acid bond and now I'm going in with Glitter Bell's glass slippers and I'm just applying this to all of the nails because I am going to be working with coloured acrylic so this will help protect the nails from any staining and it also means that when we do a redesign I've got something to file down to without touching the natural nail so I won't have to remove the whole set to do a redesign. The brush that I'm using is of course my Liz Guild brush from CJP And it is, of course, my favourite brush. So on the pinky, we decided to do a um, black nail, but then we did decide to go in with some chrome. So I'm going in here with black acrylic and I'm just doing the whole nail. On the ring finger, we are going to be doing a marble nail. Um, I didn't actually have the colour acrylic that we wanted, so um, I used CJP Snow White. And then to make the purple and the blue, um, I added some of the Glitter Arty Neon Pigments. So obviously to make the purple one, I had the white acrylic and added the purple pigment. And for the blue, white acrylic and the blue pigment and they are the neon pigments from Glitterati and they come in a stacker with all different colours and they're amazing, you can do so much with them. So all I'm doing is just applying wet beads to the nail then using the tip of my brush just to drag those through each other and just create the desired look that I want. And I do this the whole way down the nail and I do add a little bit of white as well at some point. We did decide to add some glitter, so I made a mix-up of my own um, and I used the Glitterati Mr Grey from the Valentine's Collection and another glitter from there, but I got it ages and ages ago and I don't have the name for it, so I'm really, really sorry. But yeah, I don't know what it's called. Um, so I just mix those into a little pot and then I'm just applying those using a tiny wet bead of acrylic. Then I will let this nail set and I will move on to the middle finger. So on the middle finger, we are going to be using um, a nail decal and you do need a white base colour for this one. Um, as I said before, when you get decals from Queen of Decals or Glitterati, they do say what base colour is needed. So I'm just going in here with some white acrylic. And I'm just applying that down the whole nail. It doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to be putting the decal on top. But I do want to make sure that it's not too transparent. So 
So I just apply that to the whole nail and then I will let that fully set before I do anything else on it. Here I'm just going in with the glitter mix that I made and I'm just applying that using clear acrylic and I'm just going to do a full glitter nail on this finger. You want to make sure, as I've said before, that when you apply the glitter you do apply it thin because you will be going in and encapsulating that nail so you don't want to do it too thick or else you're going to end up with a really thick nail. Moving on to the thumb, we are going to be doing a black nail with a glitter fade. So to start with, I'm going to go in with my black acrylic and just apply that to the whole nail. And then I will leave this to set before I go in with my glitter. So now I'm just going to go in and encapsulate the pinky, the index and the ring finger. And again, I'm using Glitter Bell's glass slippers. And here I'm just making sure that the nails are thick enough and that the apex is in the right place as well.
Now that that black acrylic set, I'm going to go in with the glitter mix that I made and that I've already been using. So I'm just picking some up using a wet bead of acrylic and placing that towards the cuticle and then just feathering that up over the whole nail. Um, I want it to be, I want the glitter to be more towards the cuticle than the free edge. So if there's any gaps or anything near the cuticle that I think need to look fuller, then I will just add a little bit more glitter. And then I will leave this to fully set before I go in and encapsulate it because if I do it now while the glitter's wet, um, the glitter will just move around. So just make sure that you leave that to fully set before you encapsulate. Then now is the fun part. So on the middle finger, we're going to be using an Alice in Wonderland decal. These are super easy to use. So you just cut out the decal that you want, soak it in water and... Um, to apply it, I'm going to go in with Neo Nails Urban Graffiti Base Coat. And then before I cure that, I will apply the decal. So these decals I actually got from the Queen of Decal website. They're not actually available on the Glitterati at the minute, but I'm sure they will be soon. Um, and all I've done is cut around it, soaked it in water and then the decal literally slides off the backing paper. It's so easy to use. And then all you do, sorry, I'm just waiting here for the decal to, <laughs> to uh, come off. And then all you do is just place it on top of that wet base coat and just push it in to the wet base coat. And as you can see, it's so easy to do and it just slides into place. So before, as I said on my last video, I was um, applying it to a tacky layer of cured white gel polish, but I found that um, you didn't have as much playtime as you do doing it this way. And a couple of people told me about this. Um, I think it was Stacey Ward who put up some videos of her doing it this way. And a couple of people mentioned it to me and I tried it and I've, I loved it. It's so easy to do. So you literally just have to keep playing with it and pressing it down and then making sure that you wrap it around the sides of the nail and also over the free edge of the nail. Then once you're happy, you're going to cure this to set the base coat and I cure it for one minute under my LED lamp. But obviously if you're using a UV lamp, you do need to do it for two minutes. I don't worry about filing off the excess um, that's hanging over the edges because I go in and encapsulate it. So then once the clear acrylic sets, then I will file it and that will just file away. But you will see that in a minute. So once you're happy with it, cure that in your lamp for one minute if you're using LED. If it's a UV, it's two minutes. So once that is fully cured, I'm going to go in. And again, I'm going to encapsulate it in clear acrylic. You want to make sure that the whole nail goes matte to make sure that you've encapsulated every last bit of it because you don't want to start filing and file away the image because that would just be heartbreaking. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that I'm capping the whole nail, including the free edge. And also I do take a little bit and go underneath it as well. Um, just at the free edge there where you can see some hanging over. I just sort of push it in towards the nail just to make sure that it's up because it is overhanging. Um, I want to make sure that that glitter is right on the free edge of the nail. Then once they had all fully set, I went in and did my normal filing routine and buffed them. And then I did add some Swarovski crystals, as you can see here onto the index and the ring finger. I've let them fully, the glue fully dry from them. And now I'm going in with my glitter bells and her wipe top coat. And I'm just gonna apply that to all of the nails and cure that for one minute.
So once that top coat's fully set, I'm going in with the Glitterati Fairy Chrome Powder in blue. And I'm just rubbing that in using my finger. And I'm just rubbing it into the cured top coat. And then I will use my fluffy brush just to dust away any excess on the nail. And then what I like to do to try and make it last longer is I will firstly go in with a base coat. So again, I'll be using the Nail Nails base coat. Um, and I will apply that to the whole nail and then cure that for one minute. And then I will go in once that has cured with my Glitter Bells top coat and again cure that for another minute. Then once both of those have fully cured, we let them cool down for a minute and then I will go in with cuticle oil and then that is it. They are that simple and easy to do. So I'm going to leave you here guys and let you watch the end of the video. There are some pictures of the nails in different lighting and also different angles. Um, I really hope you like this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And don't forget, if you purchase anything from Glitterati Nails, don't forget to use discount code Jody, and you'll receive 5% off their whole website. Um, I just want to clarify that I do not get paid to promote for any of the companies that I promote for. Um, I sometimes get gifted products not all the time but sometimes and yeah I just get you a discount <laughs> so I just wanted to clarify that because a few people have been asking but no I don't get paid but yeah I hope you enjoyed it guys and I will see you in my next video bye